Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with NBC 11 Live. Team 1 1, born to compete. Yo, you see, I got the guy next to me, man. When I say a running back that can get the ball and get gone, you know what time it is, man. DeAndre Jackson, Stevenson, Texas AM commit, huh? Yes, sir. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, man, you, got, like, you like real chill right now, man. I, I, the vibe is like real calm right now. Is it like yeah. more of the calm before the storm? What's, that about, what's about to happen this season? Yeah, it is. All right, man. Texas AM, what made you commit? Um, basically, um, like you were saying just now in the vibe, when I went down there with my family, yeah, um, it was real. It felt like a culture, like a family, like everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's just like home. Yeah. So I feel like why not? I mean, I've been I've been communicating with them for a while too, mm -hmm. and then they was already top of my list. So I just made the shot. You played with Zach Calzada. He's down there right now, getting some reps, throwing the ball around, and put the green jersey on. You know, so we'll see what he does. But you guys played with the uh, together with the Cam Newton Foundation, right, right. Uh, seven on seven. What was that like? Uh, that was good. Uh, Zach, has, Zach has a, a personality that's just yeah. out this world. Absolutely. Zach, Zach is a cool guy. So yeah, it was it was definitely good mm -hmm. playing with Cam. Yeah. There were some other colleges that obviously had your eye, which mm -hmm. took you a little bit of a minute to make your decision. Mm -hmm. You know, what other? If you just name one or two that had your interest that you were like, uh, you know what? They they, they, they got my attention. Uh, Probably Alabama, Auburn, and Tennessee. Mm. Why? Um, those were the schools I was in contact with the most, uh, yeah. visiting, and just like they recruited me the most at the time. So yeah. Last year, Columbia, mm. you almost put like three bills on them. Yeah. On the ground. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the coaches remember you over there. Yeah, exactly. Tell me about that game. Um, that game was the opener of the season, so of course it it, it was like the tone of the season. It yeah. set the tone. Yeah. Uh, we came out. Um, we basically just handled business how we how we planned to the whole season. So, you know what I'm saying? That was a big game for me as well. Yeah. Um, coming into my junior season, it kind of like opened the door for me. So. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Had a small little injury last year. A little, little, yeah. little, little, little hiccup. You know what I'm saying? Nothing bad. Right. But what did you learn from that time being out? Um, from that time I was out, it was basically just a humbling experience for me. Yeah. Um, it brought me close to my team, um, close to to my coaches. It just, it just, it was a it was a better experience for me. I think it was it was for the greater good. Mm -hmm. So this year I'm very hungry. I'm, I'm coming for it all. You know, it's, sometimes I always say with injuries, right? They mm -hmm. they take you away, so you can develop as a better overall player, right? right. I mean, the skill set's gonna be the skill set, no matter mm -hmm. what, you know. You come back from injury, everything's fine. The the the, the speed, power, explosiveness, all that comes back. That's not a worry. Right. But as a leader, as a teammate, you felt you developed more that way. I did. I, I definitely did. Just like not being being able to be out there with my team and mm -hmm. just having to interact with them on the sidelines, it definitely made me a better leader. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Here's the deal. We talk about how good this uh, Stevenson secondary is. Uh, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. They got two dudes back there. That's for real. Yeah. And obviously they got more. But the standout names are going to be Kamar Wilcoxon and Javier Morton. Yeah. How good is that secondary? Uh, they're only getting better by the day. Yeah. Uh, it's a couple of other dudes in, in the secondary, also mm -hmm. a couple of un unknown people. Yeah. Um, that's going to make it great, too. So I, I, I'm excited to see that as well this season. All right. Last year, Stevenson, look, they always say, if you don't win a state championship, you don't necessarily reach the ideal goal right. you wanted to reach, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll say ups and downs you guys made as far as the season allowed you to. Now you're going to this season. Mm -hmm. A lot of expectations. Yeah. How y'all working as a group getting better? Uh, as a group getting better, we just we just trying to come stronger as as like brothers, um, as a team. Mm -hmm. Like that's basically our biggest focus right now because we we got a lot of new players like that didn't play last year. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to become more as one as a team. So how are you working individually? Um, individually, I'm just I'm trying to get involved with all the young dudes. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to just be be a leader to them and then get them involved in the system as well. Well, I ask this every time. You've been here before. Right. So at the end of the season, what are they going to say about you as an individual? I see you got a little smile on your face. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are they going to say about you as an individual? And what are they going to say about Team Stevenson? Um, as, as an individual, uh, I'm going to say... Probably, I'm going to say a guy that comes with it every day, um, a competitor. Mm. Um, I'm going to bring my all to every team, every game. I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let down. Mm. Um, as as a team, I feel like they're going to say we we were the underdogs, because mm. really it's a lot of people down us right now. But I feel like as as we proceed through the season, at mm. the end of the season, they really going, it's going to be a shocking. Well, there it is, man. Any shots? Anything you want to give, man? 
Uh, I want to shout out to Stevenson. Shout out to my mom. She's over there. Shout out to my family. <laughs> and um, shout out to Texas A&M. There you yeah. go, man. And hey, cool fact, man. Years ago, he was in the freshman B2C All-American game. And we want to say about 90% of y'all, over 90% of y'all yeah. have committed to Power 5 schools. Right. Jeez, that was a talented group, man. Either way, man, make sure you catch up Steven at Stevenson. On Friday nights, he'll be the one scoring touchdowns, band going crazy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And then make sure you catch us Friday nights as well with Jeff Hudger and the crew. Team 1-1, NBC 11 Live. And, of course, us, man, the number one segment in America. Born to compete. Take care, guys.